happy monday this is one of the hardest days of the week honestly because you are getting back in your routine usually from the weekend it's hard like i didn't realize how dark it is in the mornings now because once my alarm rang at five oh my goodness it felt like the actual middle of the night and i'm like there's no way i can wake up right now here i am awake so i clearly did it you can have the motivation to do it too it's all about discipline that feeds that motivation and so yeah now we're here we're awake and i feel so much better after like rinsing my face with cold water and getting out of bed so it was just about that like okay three two one getting out of bed you know what i mean not looking at my phone going straight into my routine anyways happy monday i haven't done a monday motivation video in so long now and i'm so excited to bring it back especially since the school year is starting again soon i thought that this would be helpful for some of you guys because i'm not in school but i know a lot of people are that watch my videos so hopefully this can help a bit in motivating you to get back in your routine for the school year maybe even creating a routine if you've never had one before the start of the week is actually a beautiful thing because you have a fresh week to create and do whatever you want and it's like a fresh start so instead of looking at it as in like a negative thing try to look at it in the most positive way possible and that's what i try to do gonna get ready for the gym running a bit late today but that is okay that is okay i didn't get the most sleep last night because usually on sundays i'll go to bed a bit later since my sleep schedule is a bit later on the weekend and then i'll just still wake up at the same time so i lack a bit of sleep but that's okay because i can always take a nap so it's not the biggest deal in the world and tonight i know i'm gonna get to bed early anyways let's get ready for the gym and let's go do this workout because that's what is gonna really wake me up so let's get ready for the gym all right guys workout set today fully from lululemon my water bottles from lululemon been loving them recently i love this like sweetheart neckline sports bra and it's like so nice and supportive it's like one of my favorite sports bras from them and then biker shorts i've been loving biker shorts over leggings recently just because like the summer but i'm sure i'll go back to leggings in the winter so anyways let's go <laughs> So I actually just threw my shoes in the washing machine and just let them air dry and they're so clean now. Like these types of materials of runners you could just do that to and they come out literally perfect and they look brand new now. so we are back now and i just got changed for the day i'm just gonna make a little to-do list i honestly have been putting off some important things that i need to get done and i am kind of disappointed about myself because i vowed at the beginning of the year that i'm going to keep consistent with this and it makes me cringe like on the inside and the outside doing all this financial stuff that comes with owning your own like business and being your own sole proprietor or whatever i have been slacking and i just i think i just need to do it like i just need to not think about it because a lot of the times with like super daunting tasks i overthink it and then i put all this build up towards it and then once i do it i'm like oh wow that really wasn't that bad 
you know and so i just can't be putting it off anymore and i just need to do it before it actually gets to the point where it's like oh my god i actually like effed myself over so i am going to do that right now i'm going to put my big girl pants on and we're going to do that together so this is your motivation to do anything that you've been putting off because i know it sucks and i know that you wish you never put it off but like don't let the past define your future just bring yourself together put your big girl pants on and just literally do it because you putting it off more and more and more is just going to create more stress down the line and then it's just going to get worse and worse and worse as time goes on so this is me honestly convincing myself and you to do things something that you've been putting off for a long time because that's like the worst like i need to get better at just doing things every single day setting aside like five minutes of my day to like keep up with like certain tasks and then like it's not going to build up you know but i'm just like that type of person that keeps like pushing it to the back if i don't want to do something it's called procrastination and i'm the mother of procrastination when it comes to things that i don't want to do and it's so bad like in school i was always such a procrastinator because i never wanted to do my homework never wanted to study for stuff that i don't want to do i procrastinate and then it bites me in the bum you know a good trick for doing things that you don't want to do to motivate yourself is to be like okay once i do this and finish it then like give yourself a reward and then you're gonna feel so good so my reward after i do this is gonna be to watch emily in paris tonight and make a dessert for myself after dinner that's my little reward for the night because i'm just envisioning myself at that point in time and how happy i'm gonna be that i got this done and it's gonna be the best feeling in the world so this is your sign to do whatever you've been putting off because your future self will thank you that was one of my goals at the beginning of the year was do things that your future self will thank you for kind of fell off of that a little bit you know but that's okay we're gonna get back on the horse we're gonna get back on track everybody falls off of things at some point in time but the important part is to not beat yourself up about it and just do it there's no other way around it you know so let's just do it get it done it's the overthinking it's literally the overthinking it's so easy to just overthink so many things in life and then they become such bigger problems than what they originally just started as because of your overthinking and then you putting it off like this can go for so many other things other than just like tasks you need to get done just like things in life in general overthinking can really be the death of us sometimes and it's so important like to try your best not to overthink because it will help you in so many situations there's no need to stress over things that, that don't need to be stressed over only worry about something when there's something to worry about we always make up these little like scenarios in our head of why we should be worrying about it and making things up that are not true then like then it snowballs into this huge giant thing that doesn't even exist that's just how the human brain works sometimes is we love we love a good overthinking moment i've been trying to work, really work on that and just not overthink things just take them on as they come worry about them in the moment if they have to be worried about solve them move on you know so that's my vibe that's why we're gonna get some work done right now do the thing do the daunting task i can't wait to get a new agenda for 2025 because my agenda that i have right now it's still you know in function it has the pages until 2025 so i still have the rest of the year with it but like there's no better feeling than like a new agenda i do all my content planning on my computer but in terms of like my daily to-do list i love like making an agenda moment for that and there's nothing like the feeling of checking something off you know this is the agenda that i currently have it's from chapters of course this is what the cover looks like but i'm just so bored of it you know what i mean like i've had this since august 2023 this time last year so it's a year old i get bored of things super easily and i'm just like ugh, i'm not gonna be over consumptionous that made absolutely no sense but i think you knew what i meant there and i'm not gonna go buy a new one just because i want to you know i'm gonna use this one until it's done and then we'll buy a new one when i need one i've been trying to do that too like recently with things not buying something if i don't need it and i already have it let's use what i have and then we can buy a new one you know because like that can lead to overconsumption, and i've really been trying to like stop myself when it comes to those types of things or else i'm literally just gonna have so many things for no reason and it's just pointless at the end of the day so i'm just trying to be more minimalist i guess you could say i'm not a minimalist like i'm not but, and i'm trying to attain some more minimalistic behaviors anyways i'm literally procrastinating talking to you right now so let's just just get the thing done. guys 
I genuinely feel so relieved because I completed like most of the task. Okay, I couldn't do it all because I literally just did not have the brain power for it, but I started it and that's what matters. So now I'm going to aim to be done like by the end of the week. So it's just like a weight lifted off my shoulders and now that I'm actually doing it, it's not like as daunting as I made it out to be in my head, like nothing ever is. I just feel like this weight is lifted off and I'm watching Emily in Paris, had my dessert. My mom brought us some leftover quiche that they had a few nights ago. So that was so nice for I didn't have to cook dinner tonight and we had some dessert and it was so good and I just feel like so rewarded. The weather has been so gloomy today. I don't know if you could see, but it's like windy. It was like pouring rain at one point. It's been like all over the place. And also tonight is a full moon. Last night was a full moon as well, I believe, but I was driving home the other night and it was like the most beautiful moon ever. It was picture perfect like from a movie. It was actually insane like with the clouds and like I don't even know. But I was driving so I like couldn't take a photo of it or anything. But it was so beautiful. And today in a sense kind of just felt like really weird. For some reason I always feel the energy of the full moon. I would be able to tell when it's a full moon without actually knowing because I would just like feel a weird energy and I'd be like, oh my God, is it a full moon tonight? And it would be, and I don't know. I'm just very in tune with those types of things and energies. Today just kind of felt a bit, I don't even know how to describe it. It felt like a full moon. Like it felt really off today. Like the timing of the day felt super weird. And I know time supposedly like really isn't linear when you look at it from like an energetic standpoint. I just really felt that today because it feels like this morning was like two years ago. Like the we it's like feels like the weirdest thing ever. And I swear it's because of the full moon. Every time there's a full moon, there's weird energy in the air for me, and I just like catch on to it and I feel it. And so that's kind of the head headspace I've been in today. It's been like super weird, and I just can really feel the energy. With that being said, I feel like it's like a really good period for you to like reflect on things, for you to journal, and for you to just like let go of things that you want to going into this new astrological period, I guess you could call it. So that's what I'm trying to do. And maybe tonight I'll do a bit of journaling and just, I don't know, check in with myself a little bit. But I really do feel like I'm kind of entering a new era. Like I just, I don't know, I feel like this different energy. It's a little bit uncomfortable because when things are changing, like energetically and just in life in general, could be a little bit uncomfortable. But I know it's like a good thing and it's for the better. Yeah, I just really feel the full moon. And today also felt like fall. First day in a while where it's like, oh my gosh, it feels super gloomy feels like fall and i'm just like mentally trying to prepare myself for fall i know we still have like a good two weeks left of summer that's crazy how it's around the corner so that's insane let me know down below if you guys are excited for the fall or if you want summer to continue on because i have been seeing on tiktok like a bunch of people are already buying halloween shit and false decor and stuff and i'm like oh my gosh like now it's like a bit way too early like you still want to enjoy the summer you know so that's crazy to me, but sometimes I also like beat myself up for not having the most like productive day. But then when I look back on it, like if you actually like look back to the start of your day and write down every single thing that you did from the beginning of the day till the end of the day, you may be surprised and surprise yourself like, oh shit, like I actually did a lot today and some stuff you may have not even like remembered or realized. Like I was up at 5 a.m. today going to the gym, which feels like a lifetime ago. If you feel like you haven't done anything in a day and you don't feel productive literally write every single thing that you did down and whether that's going to the grocery store folding your laundry doing your bed whatever it is you actually do do a lot in the day even if sometimes it feels like you don't i feel so good after having a really really busy productive day but sometimes i'll be like did i do enough today but it's like when i actually like remember what i did i'm like wait yeah i know i really did do a lot and it makes me feel a bit better about myself but it's like we're not machines like we're not built to be machines either so it's like you don't want to like fall into that toxic productivity mindset where it's like you feel like you have to be doing something 24 7 working 24 7 which is like not true you need balance like balance is key in life and i personally just like feel my best when i'm the most productive but i can't be my most productive if i don't rest too you know so every single day is going to be a little bit different and look different which is like the beauty of life 
So don't beat yourself up if you don't have like the most productive day all of the time because that's just kind of unrealistic. But anyways, I think I'm just going to turn the TV off now. Um, I was just watching Emily in Paris. Clean the kitchen and then head up to bed and read my book in bed. I was reading a bit today in the morning as well because I want to finish this book before the summer ends and I'm almost halfway through now. So I definitely know I'll finish it. But anyways, let's head up to bed and just like clean up before the morning. Hey guys, so we just got to the grocery store and we're gonna do some grocery shopping that is well needed. Actually, it's not like I left it too bad this time, but I'm planning on making some shrimp tacos for dinner tonight. We already have the shrimp, so I just need to get like the tortillas, coleslaw, etc. And we actually do have some ground chicken still in the freezer and I kind of want to make spring roll in a bowl for that. So I'm gonna just buy some coleslaw and like stuff for that recipe to make tomorrow i do need some milk just like regular grocery store things so just gonna pick up a couple things not gonna do the whole shebang today like i'm not gonna go to costco not gonna go to a million different stores because we just need like basics so that's the vibe it's already two like almost three o'clock now the day has been going by so fast so kind of want to be in and out because i have a nail appointment at 4 30. that's the plan for the rest of the day and then probably just gonna have a later dinner today but that's fine because 4 30 was like the only time we could have done the nail appointment so anyways i also bought this road um peptide lip tint and i bought it when i got the glazing milk and the blush because in order to get free shipping i had to add like 20 bucks to my car and of course they do that on purpose so i'm trying their lip tint and I actually really like it. It kind of reminds me of like the Summer Fridays. Honestly, the same thing. So I like it. The packaging gets an A plus because it's so cute. I love the pink. And it doesn't add like too much color to my lips. It's very like sheer. But I like it. Anyways, okay. Let's go grocery shopping and get some food. Also, I'm wearing this little set here from Maritzi. It's not actually a set, but I just um, brought out these little um, flare pants that I got a long time ago from them. And then I'm wearing this butter like workout tank top too. And it just like... Pretty much the shade's a great match. So that's a little fit for today. Gloomy, weird day, so I wore pants. Okay, let's go. I just got home from the grocery store so let's do a little bit of a haul so obviously had to get some kombucha because i haven't had these in the house for a while now some root beer zevias and some coke zevias the vanilla coke ones are so good then i got this happy planet creamery this is 3.5 percent milk but it's so good in like coffees and stuff yeah this is like my favorite milk this is oat milk and i purely bought it because of the packaging like i saw this and i saw that it was like a new brand or new packaging and i just had to try it i have been like reintegrating oats bit by bit just to see 
how my skin does with them since I've been off of them for so long now because I've been doing that with dairy as well and so far so good so now I'm gonna try to see how I do with oats look at this cute little packaging like I literally bought it because of that and it's so adorable like who thought of this whoever did the marketing for this is a genius and they know what is gonna sell to the younger generation I wanted to try this new granola it's not made with any like bad oils it's made with olive oil it's called the granola kid naked and so I'm excited to try this because I've been loving having granola with yogurt and then we bought some pickled onions for dinner because we're making the shrimp tacos and it needs pickled onions and I was too lazy to make my own so I may as well just like keep these in the fridge also for the shrimp taco it's got some flour and just normal corn tortillas and I got a watermelon wanted to get like at least one more before the summer season ends and I'm pretty sure this one is gonna be good because last time I got a mini one it turned out to be so yummy so hopefully this one is good and there's nothing like a fresh slice of watermelon. And then of course I got two yams because I'm always like making breakfast with these. I got two avocados. These are like rock hard. I was trying to find some that are ripe because I really don't have much for tonight's dinner, but they didn't have any. So I had to get two rock hard ones. And then I just got some cherry tomatoes. The thing keeps opening, but these are such good tomatoes. I just got two bags of coleslaw for today and tomorrow's dinner. And then lastly, got some tortilla chips. Just good to have these in the house. We're always eating them. And yeah, that's the grocery haul. I'm gonna put everything away now. Just got bubble tea with Madison and we're gonna be getting our nails done because we got twinning nails. Look at how grown out these are. These are like 12 years old. Ah. Like you can't notice and they feel so disgusting. Like they're literally peeling off. And so we kind of wanted to wait to get our nails done because we have like a schedule that we want to be on because of our upcoming things that we have. So we're like, okay, we're planning it all out. And we're like, okay, if we get our nails done, this date then like then we have to wait till this date so that's why they're kind of a bit grown out so it works with our schedule going forward so we have fresh nails for what we want fresh nails for that's why they're kind of disgusting but i was going back and forth with what i wanted because i got french tip for like the longest time and i randomly decided last time to get like chrome like a solid color and now i'm like was thinking like oh should i go back to french tip but since i rarely ever have solid colors i'm like may as well keep it let's do one more round of a solid color and then i'll go back to like my normal nails french tip i mean and this actually just popped in my head madison getting like a little kind of pale a pale orange for august we can look at the colors and see that might be cute because originally i was telling her that i haven't gotten pink in like so long so maybe pink Ugh, i just decided on pink though now like i know getting, like we can't have one of those panic moments do something random in the last second i know and I, I i get so much anxiety with those panic moments they're like looking at you when you're looking at the colors and you're just like oh my gosh i literally don't know right now i hate feeling rushed but oh my gosh madison orange would be really cute for august and Girl, september we can see the colors and stuff. okay if they have a nice pale orange i might do that but maybe pink we'll We'll see. We'll see what the vibe is once we get in. So it's going to be a game time decision. Anyways, we got our bubble tea. I get double bubbles. Yeah. We both get double bubbles because I'm obsessed. Mango today. Honestly, maybe because I got the mango, it was like a sign to get orange nails. Cheers. Oh, cheers. And we were trying to savor it for this car ride because we're like, we need it for when we're getting our nails done. Brought my little wired headphones. Okay, untangle them now. Mm. Okay, actually, I'm usually sitting there like, sorry, one minute. Untangling my headphones. It's so weird going to the nail salon at this time because I feel like we always go earlier on in the day. But today just worked out that we went at this time, 4.30. And I never get my nails done this late, so it feels really weird. Last time we came here to get our nails done, they made us wait half an hour. It was like on a weekend and they were obviously busy, but you can't make somebody wait half an hour. Like, what if I had an appointment to go to afterwards, you know? And it's not like we complained or anything, but we were just like, you got to- later, that was so brutal. Like, and that like, was so brutal. Thankfully, I'm we, sorry, but that was bad. Thankfully, we had, we didn't have like plans afterwards, so like we were fine. But I'm like, if somebody has to go to work or if somebody has like an appointment afterwards, like, you can't just, like we booked the appointment in advance. So you can't like make us show up to our appointment and wait half an hour. Like that's kind of rude with no discount. And then they were like, 
Oh, I'm sorry. We're so busy. Okay, then book accordingly to the fact that you're busy. Yeah, it's not, it's not like we just showed up out of nowhere. Yeah. Like, we booked this appointment. Anyways, okay, two minutes till our appointment. So, hopefully they, they don't I feel like they'll wait. take us right away. So, let's just go. Okay. Okay. Ciao. Before... assembling the french did i just say i was literally just about to see a french taco what even is a french taco like what even is that like what <laughs> that is crazy shrimp taco thank you very much i don't know if that's not focused okay there we go so all i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna garnish it with some tomato i don't understand people who don't like tomatoes honestly so many people don't like tomatoes though 50 percent of people i know don't like tomatoes avocado this is kind of a dusty one but it's all that i had that was ripe so it's gonna have to do and i'm glad i'm getting use out of it so that it doesn't go bad of course we gotta do the pickled onions that i picked up today at the grocery store these are an essential for shrimp tacos like it doesn't taste good or it tastes good without them but like this is a key ingredient is pickled onions last but not least I'm gonna put some mayo um chipotle aioli on here and that's how the shrimp tacos turned out oh my gosh they look so good i'm doing a corn tortilla and i can't wait this is honestly like one of my favorite dinners ever i don't know why i'm like a sucker for shrimp tacos and it's super easy this literally took me like 15 minutes to make so you just have to chop the veggies cook the shrimp i flavored the shrimp with cumin garlic powder salt and paprika mostly and then that's basically it cook the shrimp and you're good to go so cheers, Joel and I are gonna eat this while watching Love is Blind. So good. How come you connected so quickly? Okay guys, I am gonna end off today's vlog because I'm just about to get ready for bed and I just wanted to show you before I close off the vlog, I ordered this Ardell Brow Glue instant lamination lift and styling comes with a thing and a tool i ordered it because i have been looking for a new brow glue i tried the nyx one and i actually do really like it but i just want to see if there's anything better out there and i got recommended this one by ardell so i will have it linked on my amazon down below so if you want to try it it's only like 12 dollars canadian so it's super cheap but apparently this stuff is like the best thing ever so i'm really excited to try it i'm gonna try it tomorrow so let you guys know when i use it and how i like it but i just wanted to share it because apparently it's amazing so if you want to try a new brow product try her out or just wait for my review but i was so excited about it so definitely gonna try it when i do my makeup tomorrow oh i didn't even show you guys my nails oh my gosh they're just like super light pink. I don't even think you could tell, but I did take a video of them earlier. You guys already saw. Um, a little bit lighter pink than I originally wanted, but I actually do really like them. They're growing on me. They did such a good job with the shape and everything. They just took forever. Like we were in that nail salon for like two hours. I don't know why it took so long this time because I feel like we got like the most simple nail design ever. Like literally just powder color and then top coat so i don't know why it took them so long because usually we'd be in and on like 45 minutes if this was the case but anyways really love them grateful for them and they turned out good so it's a slay but anyways gonna close out today's vlog um i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and we hope that this vlog <laughs> gave you some motivation i love doing monday motivation videos because like i already said i feel like it's kind of hard sometimes to get motivation to start the week but i hope this helped a little bit because i have really been on my grind and i have been productive so i've been feeling really really good and i hope that inspires you to do the same because i live breathe eat sleep routine and it makes me feel so good but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and i love you guys so much and we'll see you in the next video